Well, good morning, you guys. I have my little sheep jumpsuit on because I have still been feeling very, very cold. And so, yeah. I finally can bundle up like everybody else. This is so amazing. But um, I just wanted to give you guys um, a little update on what's been going on. So right now I'm currently working. Yes, they're finally giving us the permission to work from home, which I've been home pretty much for the last two weeks anyway. Um, you guys will have already known that I have, you know, had the virus or have the virus currently. I have not been retested to see whether or not it's out of my system, but I do feel a lot better today, which pretty much a lot of mornings I feel pretty good. And then as the day progresses, this a new symptom comes on. And so in the last, I want to say, because I can't remember what, from which day I last updated you guys, but pretty much I've been having... Um, I think anxiety attacks um, a little um, because I went outside the other day, which I did stay in the car. I did not go outside of the car. I wore my mask and I think I spoke to you guys on that day. But when I got inside the house, uh, I couldn't get my breath and I was almost panicking and I thought I was going to have to go to the doctor's office. But... I think I'm more afraid to go to the hospital than I am of just expiring at home, let's just say. And so after a while, I was able to, you know, to, I guess, calm down and to get my breath. And so I'm going to say that pretty much it probably was um, some type of attack from being outside. But um, since that time, pretty much I still have, like my throat is very raw. That's what I'm going to say. It's not really a sore throat, but it's very raw. My throat is very raw um, from trying to remove the phlegm and all of that. And so each night I'm just taking a Tylenol severe fever. And that seems to be getting me to sleep. I'm only taking half of it. And I'm doing hauls. I got some Sipacol, but it's disgusting. I couldn't I couldn't even suck on half of it. Um so yeah, so that's pretty much it for right now. Um I'm talking very low because it hurts to talk louder and it hurts to talk for a long time so and like right now when I'm doing this I'm just um, sipping on some orange juice um, it's hot orange juice and um, so I'm gonna have a little bit of tea later I'm still pretty much just eating soup broth it's a, it's a vegetarian soup from German soup, which has been like severely helpful to me. Um, at one point, I was actually throwing up everything, even the soup, water for two days. So I really didn't get anything in my system. And I was having severe, you know, like my back started hurting, my bones started hurting. Um, but now I'm able to eat and I ate for the first time yesterday more than I've eaten probably in the last week because the first week I was able to eat um, okay and then I realized that I could not eat um, anything solid so I just been doing the broth um, soup like I said from German soup which is a vegetarian soup and so now I'm working from home and um, God willing that I'm just going to keep, you know, getting better and better. I never imagined that I would be sick for this long. I've always pretty much prided myself on having 
um, you know, pretty good health and different things like that. And I really just think because I'm an empath, um, just taking on other people's emotions and feelings and worries and different things like that. And then it's not helping that even though I'm not outside, but just hearing the ambulance, just worried about my family, just, you know, looking at the news or reading, um, you know, things on Twitter or Google or, you know, AOL, I think it's um, prolonging um, these feelings that I'm having. And um, I think a lot of it is just like anxious energy. So, but anyway, um, I'm waiting for them to send me some more work. And that's it. So I will update you guys if anything else comes along. I'm trying to wait to put this video up um, once I am totally well. Because it's to be the worst thing to, <laughs> to talk about. I'm feeling better and I'm really not feeling better. So that gives um, a false di a diagnosis um, to anyone who may be experiencing this thing longer than the time that they say that it's supposed to come, you know, out of your system. So I will keep you guys updated and I, hopefully next time you guys see me, I won't be in, um, you know, a bonnet and I'll look a little more decent. So. We'll see. I'll see what I could do for you guys. You guys, look what, do you all see that? The spiders ate my freaking goddamn plant. They're all in there. They got the babies. I think I'm getting ready to vacuum this damn thing and see if I can get rid of them. <sighs> this is so frustrating. I can't believe it killed my freaking plant. that I brought offline Brenda's Balm and you see what it says so show you guys this is the top I think this top is so cool I think it's cute this is the little tea bag well not tea bag but tea that I got. See how that looks. Okay. And this here was $42 or $47. I know. That's a lot. And another thing I wanted to show you guys, which I may have already showed you guys, is this is the ear purifier that I am currently using. And I mean, I think the first time I used it, I felt that it was very helpful, but I didn't, I'm not sure if it was something that I really, 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 really needed. All right, you guys, I just wanted to show you all what I was using as far as my humidifier. So I got the Vicks humidifier and I will tell you this thing was a bit of a lifesaver but it's done its job and I'll put it away for 
the next episode of whatever in life. I had to get me some of this water. Because as you guys know, at Jaden Smith is producing this water or he's collaborating in the production of this water or he might be the mastermind behind it. Um, I've read some, I've heard about it and I've read some information on it, but right now my brain is pretty foggy, so don't mind me. But I wanted to definitely try this. I wanted to support him with it. So, yeah. All right, you guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and taste it. I know some people be like, why are you talking about tasting water? Like, all water tastes the same. But if you've tried different types of water, you will definitely know that not all water tastes the same. So, yeah. taste a little bit of nature I want to say in this water not really nature let me take that back but it's something that I'm experiencing with this water that I'm not quite sure but it does it is refreshing tasting I'm just gonna say that it is very refreshing tasting so you know yeah I bought this water because I was looking for some alkaline water and it said that this water is naturally alkaline so that's why I brought it. It does not say alkaline water on the packaging. It just says 100% spring water but yeah. Hopefully it's alkaline water. All right, you guys, I just wanted to come and update you guys on what is going on for today or what, and pr pretty much this is probably like a video for myself as well because in the last couple of days, I have not been basically recording what my symptoms are have been and a lot of times I wake up even after a rough night I'm feeling you know a lot better but then so weirdly what happens is just right around about six o'clock it's like a new symptom emerges and I mean it's it's almost different every day like every day there's something different something else that comes up and it's just at this point it's just like so weird to me at this point I'm just like it's this it is it's, it's when does it end and that's the thing about it because I'm seeing other people and they're saying like oh you know I had it I'm healthy now I'm back you know to normal or they looking like they're back to normal and in my case, I'm just going down a rabbit hole, like literally, like every single day, there's something different that comes up. Like the other day I started, my eyes, they were so dry. They were so dry. They were so red. Well, one, my right eye was really red. And then when I woke up in the morning, you know, cause I put some eye drops in the right eye. I didn't put it in the left eye, but I woke up, both of the eyes were like, crusted a bit and I'm just like what the hell is this like I, 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 <sighs> and then I'm realizing as well every time I go outside now I've only been outside three times each time I pretty much try to stay in the car I did get out the car yesterday because you know I was I had to get out the car let's just say that I had my mask on and everything and but every time I've been outside, and I think I've mentioned this already, you know, previously, 
when I came back and I ate or whatever, not right away, but after a while, like after food settled, whatever, it's like I have to vomit or I regurgitate the food. Um, and it yesterday, I ate some salmon that I made and I put, you know, a, a good amount of seasoning on it. You know, I seasoned it very well. I did put some of the African hot pepper. And I, when I tell you, when that thing came out back up through my throat, it felt like somebody had a, put a flamethrower to my throat. It was the most painful, horrifying thing that you know not that I've ever experienced but one of the top things and it took a good 15 minutes just for me to get it back under control like fully get it back under control like it lessened you know after I kept drinking the water drinking the water drinking the water and spitting it back into the toilet and just you know this saliva just was coming out my mouth because my mouth was watering up trying to get rid of you know um what was trying to come back up out of my stomach and i went in the shower and i did my boohooing because every time i think i'm getting better is something else that comes up i promise you i've been going through this almost a month but like i was telling one of the doctors that i've spoke to over the phone I literally feel like I've had this thing since November because the late part of November, early December, because what happened around that time is I was getting this thing that was going up into my nose, into my head, and it was burning, like it was burning through my nose up into my head. And I couldn't understand, like, what the hell that was. Like, why am I, you know, why is this happening to me? And I just feel, felt like, okay, I'm just getting, like, a little cold. or But that was extreme. Like, I've never experienced that before. And so from January, February, you know, I was, you guys, if some of you will remember, I made the, the video about night sweats. And even though I got night sweats, you know, throughout other years, around my menstrual I was mentioning that I was getting it even more and so that was all the way back in February that I was started experiencing it and so pretty much I would say that I've had a form of this virus in my system since late November early December and that's no joke and I just think because my body may have been initially trying to fight it off and I just, I didn't know what it was and, or I just kept going to work and I just kept going outside. It's like my body just could not fight it off any longer. And so at one point I may have been asymptomatic and then I became symptomatic. Uh, and that's um, what I'm looking at right now. And I've been dealing with the symptoms now for coming up a month in the next three days and truthfully last night I had to sit up all of last night I could not lay down and that's been my situation um, pretty much for the last week I've had to sit up in bed I cannot lay down because if I lay down the phlegm will build up in my throat and I'll be gasping and coughing uh, once you know it wait it like once I'm realizing that you know my breath is being cut off and so I actually I had seen something that Chris Cuomo was saying and when I tell you it hit home so hard because he was speaking about the virus messing with your mental and it does it really messes your mind up it really right now it has me in such a mode like I am almost so afraid thinking about getting back on those trains I am like shaking like I am literally shaking and I'm not afraid of things like that I'm not so I know it's really, that's not my personality. Like, of course, yeah, I'm scared of getting on certain rides at the 
amusement park i would be honest with that i'm scared of heights and all that stuff like that but to be afraid of something far as this you know i'm i'm usually i'm not afraid and but it's like I try to talk to myself and say, no, you're not going to allow this to engulf you. You're not going to allow this thing to take over you. You're not going to allow this thing to change you. But at the same time, when I get the thought in my mind about going back to work and having to get on that train, it's like something like my whole body just likes tighten. And I could just, I get, it's, it's, it's insanity right now. And so I was just like, wow, I'm so glad, not so glad that he's going through this, but I'm so glad that he's able to relay that to the world because I'm, I can't understand how people are saying that they're like back to normal. And I'm just like, is there ever a normal to this thing? I don't, I'm, I'm almost every day I'm looking forward to what the next thing is going to be that attacks me that's where I'm at right now I'm at the point where I'm just like every day I'm like okay what is the next thing and even though I'm not getting used to it you know it's just like I know that it's coming so I don't know what's gonna happen tonight and I think that's the most stressful thing you know in your mind or on your mental is that you just don't know and every time you think you're making it it's like am I gonna suffer with this for all of this time and then it takes me anyway like you know I'm trying I'm listen I'm being as positive as I can I've been saying my affirmations I've been praying you know most times when I pray I pray for other people but I've been trying to pray for myself even though I still you know I can't help it because I've been doing it for so many years just praying for others and not praying for myself but I just hope that you know I'm sure you know with my mom and my daughters you know and other people they're they're praying for me like I'm praying for them and I know I'm going to get through this that's not w really what I'm concerned about what I'm concerned about is the amount of time that is going to take for me to fight this thing completely like how long am I going to have to do this you know and I'm thinking like you know with my job which I really hate to even mention because you have to take care of yourself before you can go out and take care of anybody else or you know, worry about working and different things like that. You know, I don't know what the situation is going to be as far as us having to go back to work and different things like that. I'm trying to just take things one day at a time and not, you know, worry myself about other things. Because when you worry yourself, you lower your immunity and then that's the thing that's going to kill you. And so I'm talking to myself and I'm talking to you guys as well because I've been worried about, you know, even... The people who are subscribed to me you know I want you guys to be doing well I want you guys to be well I want you guys you know to you know be alive at the end of this thing and you know and that's just who I am as a person you know I just you know everyone it it, it just I just naturally worry about people that's just that's just it you know but we're going to make it through this. And those of us who, who have not made it through this it has nothing to do with the fact that God loved one person more than the other person. You know, it's not that the universe loved one person more than another person. It's just through this I would I'm telling you I I no one no one I don't care what not even the devil's child no one I would want to go through this and that's just that's just that's just honest like no one but anyway you guys I'm already um I'm work well I'm not working right now I'm working but I'm on lunch right now but I'm gonna go have my lunch um I tried to have the salmon, but, you know, that was horrifying for me yesterday. So I'm going to go back to just eating the soup and that's it. Um, and that's, yeah. So I love you guys and I hope you guys are well. You know, please let me know if you guys, you know, had to suffer somewhat with this. How did you guys get through it? If you have a loved one who didn't make it 
or if you know someone that um, knew someone that didn't make it, you know, let's share each other's, you know, um, stories and experiences and different things like that. I love you guys.